Welcome back to Aquatic Australia. Today we're diving off Ballot and Jack at the south side of Rottnest Island, offshore of Perth, Western Australia. Our first dive is at Donut Cave. This is a site behind a reef wall in the south centre of Rottnest Island. We descend over the sand off the side of the main reef wall. The water is very clear today and quickly we see a large stingray. I positioned the boat so it would be parallel to the wall, over the sand and next to a cave on the side of the wall. We head across the sand and up the wall to the cave, set into the wall just like a letterbox. Inside the left of the cave is a deep, dark tunnel. Sometimes you can find a very large wobbegong shark in there, but sadly not today. My buddy Chris enters the cave, passing through a school of bullseyes. Passing through the cave in the wall, there is an exit the other side, leading to an amphitheatre with caves all around the edges. In a hole, we spot a stingery, a type of small stingray. The amphitheatre is sunk into the top of the reef, accessible by the cave through the reef wall. There are caves all around. We head back to the front door cave that we came through and then back onto the reef slope. We then head along the wall past a couple of deep cray holes, one of which is a substantial but silty and therefore risky cave. Patrolling along the base of the wall we see a large stingray coming. These gentle giants are not the fearsome creatures of myth. Rather, they are quite placid and will come right up to the divers. Don't get above them or grab them and they're fine. We continue along the wall and pass another large cave mouth. The silt coming out shows that a crayfish has already been in there. This particular cave though can be dangerous. There is no exit and it goes a long way in. It's possible to get far inside, stir up the silt and get lost. Caverns like this rather than swim through should be avoided without cavern diver or cave diver training. A friend was almost lost here but luckily survived. Further along the wall, there are more rocks and reef out on the sand, but for now it's time to turn back towards the Donut Cave. We find the head of a crayfish on the bottom. There is still some meat in it. This sends the local wrasses wild.
we head back up the, to the top of the wall, then hang above the top of the donut while we decompress. Safety stops done, we go back up the line to the boat and finish this dive. Between dives, Chris had to dive to recover the anchor, but the prop then got fouled so Chris and I had to dive and work together to cut the prop free. While we were drifting we passed over some interesting looking sights. We anchored again, then I had to dive again to recover the anchor as it was my turn. In total Chris and I made four dives on the day. It was quite an eventful day, but a lot of fun. Descending at Crystal Palace, a school of skipjack trevally or skippies swims by us. We dive around the southern part of the reef. On the south side, we find a ledge and then we continue east. In the ledge, I spot a number of crays. We pass through a number of gullies and ledges and the scenery becomes more and more interesting. I pass a red-lipped moorwong perched on the side of a gully. These pretty fish will stay still and then take off suddenly. My buddy Chris swims underneath a large arch in the reef. Chris spots an octopus curled up inside a hole but it doesn't feel like playing today. As we go north up the east side of the reef, we find a recess in the wall, leading to a large crater, cave and a giant arch. Chris enters the cave and we explore the large chamber before exiting through the ceiling. I film Chris as he ascends behind me, showing the size of this crater and conveying the wonderful feeling of flying we get underwater. Head back west across the top of the reef, back towards the boat. In another smaller crater, Chris and I examine a colourful western blue devilfish closely. We also find two banded cleaner shrimp. These shrimp clean other fish, removing and eating parasites. They will even go inside the mouths of larger predators in complete safety. The cleaners provide a symbiotic service and are not food. Arriving back at the anchor, we come to the end of our dive and we do our safety stops, then head back to the surface. Thanks for joining us again for this episode of Aquatic Australia. Please like and share and hit the subscribe button and you will get notifications of new videos on the channel. 
Let's take a look at the still photos from the day. 